All right, most think of Shelter Island on Long Island's East End as an idealistic, picturesque beach town, but the island's majestic Sylvester Manor overlooking the water was actually once a working plantation staffed by those living in slavery. News 12's Ian Page tells us the story in part one of our Black History Month series. Sylvester Manor, a 17th century estate, is located on Shelter Island, a wealthy enclave about a quarter mile ferry ride from the Hamptons and 100 miles east of Manhattan. In 1652, Nathaniel Sylvester, who lived in England, bought the property and moved here. He didn't come alone. Along with his teenage wife, he brought enslaved African people to supply the sugarcane operations in Barbados. Many don't know Long Island was home to the largest population of enslaved people in the North. These are all sort of facts of Northern slavery that are not really commonly known and are just starting to come to light for the public, to be taught in schools, to be talked about in communities. This is the home where the enslaved people actually lived, much of it in its original form. The wallpaper hasn't been touched. The dining room is the same as it was hundreds of years ago, and this is the slave staircase which uh, winds to the first floor bedrooms and then to the attic spaces where the enslaved and indigenous people were housed in the manor house. Sylvester Manor spans several hundred acres of property. Many people think it's beautiful property and flock here by the hundreds in the summer. But for those who were enslaved here hundreds of years ago, it was a very different experience. For the African people who were brought from the West Indies, this was a beautiful place. It was a foreign climate and it was a prison. They were imprisoned here on this island against their will. And it doesn't really matter, you know, how beautiful the sunsets were. There was no escape. This is believed to be the burial ground for many of the enslaved people that died. There are no tombstones to let us know who they are. A fence has been built to symbolize a resting place for them. It is the mission of Sylvester Manor to tell the story of slavery that existed in New York and on Long Island. This is the history of not just Shelter Island and not just Sylvester Manor, but the history of Eastern Long Island, of the East End of Long Island, of all of Long Island, of New York, and of the United States. This is not black history, this is American history. Ian Page, News 12, Long Island. Sylvester Manor is now a nonprofit educational farm. Their mission is to preserve, cultivate, and share the land, buildings, and history behind it.